Hello there, everyone. How are you? Um, this is the first unit on Revelation, and all we simply need to know is a few of the revelations that you're going to learn. Uh, you're going to learn about these, you're going to use them in lessons. And what exactly is a revelation? Well, some people believe a revelation is where God reveals God's self to humans. And that's what we started to look at with your with your song, What If God Was One of Us? And does God actually you know, show himself to people today? And we're going to look at five different ideas about where people actually believe that they've had what's called a special revelation. Now, a special revelation is one that is, seems to go outside the laws of nature, where God appears or, or someone who knows, you know, who is famous within that religion, maybe Mary in the, in the um, Christian religion or other, other famous religious characters within other religions. But today we're, we're going to want you to look at just uh, five different stories. OK, you're just going to look at one after the other and answer some questions on the test. Good luck. I am Saint Paul, and my special revelation, a revelation that happened to me, was when Jesus appeared in the sky and spoke only to me, and his words were so great that they left me blind, according to the Bible. Now, I was not a very nice person. In fact, I tortured Christians for what they believed and what they were saying in the early church. And this was so important to me that I once went on the road to Damascus, and on that road I was stopped by a blinding light in the sky. And, the, and this, the light in the sky said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And my name was Saul at that time. And I said, Who are you? Who I persecute you. And the voice said, I am Jesus. And it made me realize that what I was doing was wrong. But the voice was so powerful that it blinded me for a long, long time. And this special revelation made me change my ways. And I no longer persecuted Christians. But in fact, I became one. St. Paul on the road to Damascus, seeing a vision of Jesus, a special revelation. Hello, I am Pope Benedict. Well, at least I was Pope Benedict. Now I am no longer Pope Benedict. I am still alive, but I have given up being the Pope. But I am still very holy. But. I would like to tell you today about why I am speaking. When I was the Pope, Catholics all over the world believed I was a representative of the disciples, the people who knew Jesus well. And we as Christians believe that these disciples saw the resurrection of Jesus. And this must have been a great special revelation for them. So special that now Christianity is the biggest religion in the world. So many Christians believing that Jesus rose from the dead. That's impossible, I hear you say. But we Christians believe Jesus rose from the dead. And the first disciples saw him. Saw him in the Garden of Gethsemane and various other places. And he talked to them and spoke to them and told them what to do. And me, as the Pope, I believe I was the descendant of the disciples and of that special revelation of God to human beings. My name is Barry Head, and millions of people have come to see me because they believe that God can reveal God through me. What I can do is I can cure people. I place my hands on them, and through the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, I can cure them of all their problems, especially things like arthritis and any kind of disease that debilitates and causes them. But people it causes them pain. And people come to see me for miles around. I've become world famous, and everybody thinks 
who comes to see me that the Lord Jesus Christ works through me and I'm able to cure them of their illnesses. Well, some people also think that I'm a fraud, but that will come in another unit and another uh, element of this, this revelation section. But other people think that I can cure them because of the power of revelation. God reveals God's self through me and through the Lord Jesus Christ. Benny Hinn, as a, as a link below to my ministries, but take it with a pinch of salt. Pope John Paul here. Well, I am going to tell you a story of prayer and the power of prayer to actually help people stop smoking. Well, the story is on a web page that you can find to uh, the right here, uh, or just underneath this video. And it's all about how people have given up smoking due to the power of prayer. And they say they never could have done it without it. Special revelation, how God has revealed God's self to them by praying, and they have been able to give up the thing which is the most addictive in their life. Prayer is often a special revelation. It reveals specially to people what it is that they can do, like giving up smoking. Have a look at the, the website. It's from the Telegraph, so therefore it must be true. Hello there. I'm Sally McCloy. I am a normal lady from Birmingham who came over from Ireland. But I'm here to tell you about a place in the south of France called Lourdes. Now Lourdes is a special place for Catholics all over the world because Catholics believe that Mary appeared there 18 times to a young lady called Bernadette and they sh Mary asked her to do certain things and one of them was to dig a hole and out of this hole sprang water and since then millions and millions of people from all over the world have come to Lourdes and some say claim that they have been cured miraculously that God has revealed God's self miraculously to them well I am one of those people I came to Lourdes in 1943. I had cancer. I had cancer and I was sat in one of the processions one of the days and I was blessed, blessed by the priest and I felt a great warmth in my body. So much so that I went back to the hospital and I started to help the other people in the hospital who were poorly. When I came back to England I actually had myself checked by a doctor and the doctor said that I was fully cured of cancer and that it was a miracle, a miracle that could only be explained by a special revelation, by God revealing himself to human beings through me. And of course I give great thanks to it. I thank God and of course I thank the people of Lourdes and Mary and everybody else. So I'd just like to say that God does reveal God's self to people all the time and performs great miracles, some great special revelations as you have seen here with my story.